An elderly Cape Town man who waited three weeks before receiving his social grant says he's grateful to finally be able to access his money as his funds were running out. Some of those who received half their Sasa social grant money are hoping they'll receive their balance next month. ENCA's Nobisutu Hejana reports. For the last three weeks, Christian Peterson has been attempting to access his Sasa grant money without success. His wife Edna, who only received her pension money after a week, had been footing the household's bills. On Friday, using their last money to travel, the couple headed off to try access their outstanding money. They were nervous. It's going to mean a lot for us because then he has got bills to pay. We have, uh, it's not just basic food, it's toiletries and a little bit of everything. They made their way to a nearby retail store where they had been told Mr. Peterson's funds would be available. After almost an hour and 30 minutes, the couple were all smiles, having already planned how the money will be spent. Eventually, yes, I, get, I did get all my money and I feel a bit of relief, at ease. And I can laugh now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what are the plans for the money now that you got it? Because, I mean, you've been waiting for ah, three weeks. Yeah. Now uh, we have to pay our small bills. We have to pay that. We have to do that. That's the first priority we have to do, we have to pay that. Mm -hmm. And what the rest is, oh, uh, whatever there is, well, we can see, we'll go from there, we go from there. Mm -hmm. I'm glad. And I, and, and I hope all the other people that is also waiting will be as fortunate as us that, to get their money. But overall, the, uh, the minister did deliver, hopefully for everybody. And I'm very glad because by now I can, he can buy me a chocolate. Mm. <laughs> While the Petersons are grateful they've finally received their social grant money, they're hoping the situation doesn't repeat itself next month. Nabesutu Ejana, Cape Town. Cape Town's Highway Patrol Unit has arrested more than 80, 850 wrongdoers since the entity's inception. Mother City law enforcement bosses emphasize the high-tech unit has had a positive impact on efforts to help fight crime. The unit was officially rolled out in November last year. ENCA reporter Kevin Brandt reports. Cape Town's Highway Patrol Unit has now been active on the Metro's major roads for the past 10 months. Besides enforcing traffic laws, officers also assist motorists whose cars have broken down or those who've run out of fuel. The majority of the rest are drunken driving, um, uh, driving behaviour related, reckless and negligent driving arrests and that. But we have done arrests for uh, stolen vehicles, illegal firearms. We've also um, effected arrests for um, cable theft as well. Patrol vehicles feature dash cams and automated number plate recognition technology to zoom in on and apprehend drivers with outstanding warrants of arrest and even to locate stolen vehicles. The officers themselves are wearing body cameras which has become quite an effective tool when it, when it comes to the offender and officer version of events. Sometimes there's a huge discrepancy between the version of events. We're hoping to close that gap by, uh, by means of the, the body camera. So we are definitely making progress in, the, in that light. A technology-driven highway patrol unit is demonstrating the importance of drawing on additional manpower in the fight against crime. Traffic officials are stressing the benefits of working closely with other law enforcement entities to help arrest perpetrators.